In today's video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate a cute and easy stick figure cake design for Mother's Day. So here's our template that we're using today of the mom and daughter and son. Actually, there's a dog there too, which we wound up not using, but you can use the dog if you'd like. And as you can see, I've placed it beneath a sheet of wax paper, and I'm about to outline all of our stick figures using melted black candy coating, which I'm applying with a small round piping tip. I'm using a piping tip two, uh, two or three is fine. And I'm just gonna carefully trace our little outlines. If your candy coating is way too runny, you might need to allow it to cool for just a few more minutes. Um, Cause as you can see, as I'm piping, the piping is holding its shape. So that's what you want. And eventually we're gonna come back and fill in a lot of these spaces with color. Uh, but for right now, we're just only going to be working with the black. And also keep in mind that anything like the little arms and legs, anything like that that's freestanding that's not filled with color is going to be more fragile eventually once the chocolate has firmed up and you apply it to the cake. So if you'd like to, you could go over these little black outlines twice. Um, I just did once, but the more chocolate or the, the thicker the chocolate is, the stronger your little figures will be. So now I have mixed up some more colors. Actually, some of our colors are pre-colored candy coating that have melted, and then others are uh, white candy coating that I've tinted with oil-based candy colors. So however you wanna do that, just pick out the melted candy colors that you like. And as you can see, I'm not using a piping tip for these fill-in colors, I've just loaded them into my piping bag and just snip the tip away. And I'm just adding a little pink to the skirt and shoes for the mom. And we're gonna add a little bit of color to every figure. Okay, and now I'm filling in the blonde hair and I'm staying mainly within the black outline so that you can still see the the black outline that we applied earlier. I think it helps the colors to stand out a little bit better. Okay, and now I'm filling in the details for our boy with some blue candy coating. and then a little bit of green. Okay, and now I'm just moving on to the girl. And of course, just use our stick figures as a guide. You might wanna add more figures or more pets. Uh, just go with whatever fits your family or friends or whatever you might be creating the stick figure cake for. One reason I really like this for Mother's Day is that it does look like a child's drawing and as an added bonus, they're really easy to make. Okay, so once you finish tracing your people, you can go ahead and add some additional accents like I'm doing. I'm just piping on some different flowers that we might use. Just go ahead and Pipe as many little extra details as you like, as long as you have the melted candy coating anyway, you may as well pipe some extra details. So uh, we piped lots of little flowers and some hearts and just kind of some miscellaneous things. And we didn't use everything, but we used a lot of it. I also piped a little bit of grass, which you'll see soon, which was kind of fun because it gave our cake a little bit of added dimension uh, with the candy coating grass rather than frosting grass, just as something kind of new and different. 
Okay, so you can see I've piped lots of little hearts also, and I'm just gonna do some little squiggles, lots of little short squiggles for grass. And once you're finished piping, you're going to chill your details in the freezer for about maybe five minutes or so until they're nice and firm, maybe five to 10 minutes, or you could refrigerate them for longer. And you can see here is our sheet after I've chilled everything. And you're just gonna slide your hand beneath the wax paper and just kind of really gently lift up your pieces. And now I'm just adding our pieces to our eight inch frosted cake with a little buttercream. And I'm about to break my girl. But you'll see, as long as it's a clean break, you can easily piece them back together. Um, so there she is. I broke the last stick figure girl I made for a different cake design too, but uh, luckily you can just piece them back together. I still really like the raised look. So I'm gonna keep on doing my little stick figure cakes. Okay. So now she's on and we're gonna move on to adding our other details. Okay, so now as you can see, we've added our little boy and girl to the cake also. And now I'm just gonna start adding our grass. And all of our chocolate pieces are added using a little dot of buttercream on the back. That makes a nice glue. And it also helps them to stand out a little bit more. So it gives us even more dimension. And I'm also adding some flowers here and there on top of the grass. Uh, again, just applying them with a little dot of glue to the back. Next, I'm using a chocolate letter mold that I have uh, to spell out the word mom. So we've filled it with our candy coating and are gonna chill it until firm. And then also an optional step, but I think it's cute for our little figures to have uh, faces. I'm just applying the faces with a small round piping tip. Uh, I'm using a tip number two or a number one would be good also. And I'm just applying the faces with black buttercream. And you can also see I've added a few little chocolate hearts to the front. For the flowers, you could make chocolate flowers for the son and daughter to give to the mom, but I thought it was easier just to pipe this with buttercream. So again, I'm using a small round piping tip for the stems and for the flowers. And these are just cute little buttercream accents. And for the girl. And I also added some buttercream polka dots to the girl's dress. So I think it looks really sweet. I also decided to add a border to the top of the cake. So I'm just using a tip 21 and a basic shell border. I'm, I'm applying it to the top of the cake and actually I decided to do two top borders, two shell borders side by side. And then I also finished off at the base of the cake with a shell border as well. And as a final touch, I added a few cute little chocolate flowers to our letters. Okay, so our cake is finished. I think it turned out really cute and would be perfect for Mother's Day. So hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you'll give it a try. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.